Hi, I'm Bob Voss, also known as New Business Bob. Welcome to the New Business Bob Show. Larry the Accounting Guy is with me today, and today we're going to be talking about red flags. And what's a red flag? Well, everybody's afraid of red flags. When you're worried about the IRS, they think you're going to do something that's going to cause a red flag, and that red flag is going to trigger an audit, and then you're really going to be in trouble because you got to go through this whole process with the IRS. Larry's here because he's been through this stuff. Larry, what are the red flags that we as new business owners really need to worry about? Well, the biggest red flag is documentation of business use of personal asset. For example, I buy a boat and I'm going to take you out fishing this Saturday. Great. Well, it's, it's a little cold it's a this little Saturday. It's a little cold for the boat, but that's all right. <laughs> but it's a nice summer in, ja in, exactly. in July and we're going to go out this Saturday. Okay. I make the mistake of trying to write off that boat as a business expense because I took you out once over the summer. Okay. In fact, I went out 30 times over the summer and took you out twice. Okay. Oh, I'm going a second time too. That's uh, really good. You know, I, I know you're going to need a second crack at it. So, okay. Um, only two 30 seconds of my boat expenses were for business use. Okay, so that's all you can write off. That's all you can write off. And it's the same whether you're talking about cell phone usage, uh, usage of your home, usage of your car, anything that's personal in nature that you're using for business, you have to document the business use percentage. And only that percentage can be deducted. Don't try to write off the whole boat. Nothing will get you audited faster than large personal use deductions. Okay. Do you have any other examples of large personal use deductions? Uh, you know, the things that are watched cl most closely are uh, cell phones, uh, computers, audio, video equipment, recording equipment, um, boats, RVs, uh, vacations. Um, you go to uh, New York and you do one thing for your business and try to take that entire trip. Sorry, that doesn't work. You go to New York and you take a five-day class and you happen to take in a Broadway show, that's fine. Don't deduct the Broadway show, but the rest of it was there for the class. Okay, this is really funny, but I get asked this a lot because we talk about ha having to do an annual meeting, right? So I always say, let's go to Hawaii and hold our annual meeting with myself, right? right. Can I do that? Sure, but it's not deductible. Okay. Why? You're, because your annual meeting took an hour and you didn't need to go to Hawaii to have that one hour annual meeting. Okay, I get that stuff. So really you just got to document everything, right? You just have to document closely and make sure you're not being abusive. If it's business use, it's deductible. Document appropriately. That's what it takes. Okay, you mentioned cell phones a couple times. And right now I have a cell phone that I use all, all the time for my business, but I still take calls from my daughter. I still take calls from my granddaughter. I still take calls from my wife. Sure. So what you're basically saying is I can't write off my whole cell phone and data package and everything else. I have to write off a percentage of it, A right? business use percentage, correct. Okay. And so like in my case, I think I use my cell phone 75% of the time to, to for it's really for business. So I write off 75% of my cell phone bill? You do. You just need to document how you came up with that 75%. Okay. okay. So it has to be documented. You have to document. Documentation with the IRS is key. Okay. I hope this was helpful to you. Red flags are something that a lot of new business owners are really scared about because they don't, they fear the IRS and they don't want to get an audit. Your best thing you can do is, as Larry said, document anything. And the second best thing you can do is get somebody as a member of your team that's a really good small business account that understands this stuff and watches this stuff and can guide you. And Larry is that for me. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching the New Business Bob Show. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The best place to get learning for being a new business owner is the New Business Bob Show. Thanks for watching.